Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on week 11, day two, of our positive, peaceful growth, um, positive affirmations that we're doing every single day. We are working with Dr. Susan Lawton's post positive, peaceful growth calendar. You can buy it at Aroma Tools or um, Oil Life. It looks like this. Anyway, so um, this week, if you've been following us, you know that we do an affirmation for the week and an affirmation for the day. The affirmation for the week is, I am reigniting my creativity. And as we are moving into the holiday season, into Thanksgiving, into Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate this time of year, getting together with your family and friends, um, we have just boundless opportunities to use our creativity and make the season more joyous, more loving, more connective. We get to decide what, what traditions we bring in, which, what, what traditions don't serve us anymore, and we what traditions we push out. We um, get to decide what people we let into our circles this time of year and what, what people we're just like, uh, nope. Um, anyway, I don't know that that sounded really nice, but you know, you get to decide, you get to decide everything that you want to do. Um, maybe not everything. Like sometimes you don't get to decide and then, but you do get to decide your attitude and you can be creative on how you, um, you handle your adult attitude as well. Okay. So, um, reigniting our creativity is what we're talking about for the entire week. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up. Be creative on how you um, celebrate your blessings. Like maybe you want to write, like, I don't know, 50 million thank you letters to all the important people in your life, telling them how amazing and special they were to you. That sounds like a really fun thing to me. Might take a lot of time, but I'm going to guess you're going to make a lot of people happy. Maybe you want to just post on your children's door. I know someone, one of my friends actually does this on for the week of Thanksgiving. Oh, maybe it's the week of Valentine's. But anyway, it's the same It's the same thing. Basically, on um, every day for a week, she um, posts on her children's doors with super pretty, colorful sticky notes. Um, things that she is thankful for about that child. So you could do that too. You could be, um, this is what I'm thankful for about my spouse. You could be doing shout outs on Instagram or, or Facebook. You could be journaling about what you're thankful for. So there's just a lot of different ways that we can be use our creativity to celebrate our blessings. Anyway, but we can also use our creativity for so much more this season. Um, what foods, be creative on what foods you are serving for Thanksgiving dinner. You don't have to serve turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and, and corn on the cob, right? Now, honestly, that is what we are probably going to be serving for the Thanksgiving that we are going to be hosting, but we don't have to. Like, we can mix it up. Um, we can decide whatever we want to do for our Thanksgiving. Like, if you like to go to Chinese, go get Chinese for Thanksgiving. If you like to um, go Polynesian or whatever, whatever floats your boat, like, you don't have to do it like everyone else does it, right? Isn't that what your mom always told you? That you don't have to do something just because everyone else is doing it so um there's just a lot of different ways to bring in our creativity when um we could bring our creativity with presents right and we don't even ha always have to buy a present right it doesn't have to be a present that we it's a gift that they unwrap maybe it's a present of time you know you're just maybe it's a little envelope saying i'm going to spend this time with you or whatever or um i, I don't know like a gift for like for the person who has everything, maybe they don't need anything else. Maybe just have doing a gift for them to some, um, oh my, some um, charitable organization would make them happier. You know, um, just saying that I do like gifts, but I also like donating to charitable organizations. So kind of know the person that you're buying gifts for and, um, and do the best gifts for them. Make a Christmas list. Make a Christmas gift list. Like there's so many people who want to buy you gifts. Why don't Why don't you um, make a Christmas gift list list and shoot it out to your family? Um, have your children do that. Believe me, as a grandparent, it makes 
and a parent, it makes buying gifts for our children so much more easy. And um, that way, you know, you're getting something that they're going to love, right? And, and you know what? Even if you want to buy something a little different, at least you know your their tastes a little bit more. So I love Christmas gift lists. Um, so there's t so many different ways that we can reignite our creativity. We can reignite our creativity and how we're actually being bringing Christ into the season. Okay, so... Um, here's one of my favorite things about the Christmas season. So the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, hold on. Okay, um, thank you, you just give me a countdown. Okay, so the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints actually does a um, light the world during the Christmas season. I think this is like the third um, year, maybe the fourth year that they've been doing it, but every single day in December, they give you a different thing that you can be doing to bring Christ into your season to become more Christ-like, to act more Christ-like. Like some of the ones that I remember in the past were, you know, just cleaning out your closets and giving to an, um, a thrift store all of the things that you no longer need so that they can go on to break, um, help someone else's life. Um, another thing would just be saying thank you to someone, eating eating lunch with someone new, right? If you're at school or you're at work, we can definitely get in ruts. And expanding our circles is something that Christ would definitely want us to do. Loving on more people, getting to know more people, touching more people in our lives, letting them touch our lives. Definitely, that would be something that they, Christ would want us all to do. So I really, really love it. If you just look it up, it's called Like the World, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, sign up. They have an app. It will shoot a, shoot a message to your phone or else an email to your email reminding you what the different thing is um, to do each day. And that can just be, you don't even have to do the thing that they're recommending, right? It can just be a springboard. Oh, well, this is what, this is what they're suggesting today, but I can do this instead that fits me and my family, my personality better. So I um, definitely wanted to give a shout out on so many of the different ways that we can use our creativity um, nowadays. Okay, so I was, I was at a class once and they were saying that one of the reasons why this person, this instructor felt like there was so much anxiety and depression nowadays is because we are not using our creativity. Like it used to be that we used to have to make all our own food. Now we don't. We can go to McDonald's. McDonald's makes it. And we don't have the joy of making our own food. Okay. So this is coming from a person who, who isn't the best cook in the world. Just putting that one out there, being super authentic on that. My husband is like the best cook and he basically cooks for, um, for the family, you know, and helps us on our days when we are doing the cooking, my children and I, but um, he is the best cook. Um, but still, when I do cook, I'm like, I made that. Like there is some some super big joy and of accomplishment that comes when we are doing things. They were also saying, not only are we not cooking our own food, we're not making our own clothes, we are not, um, we are not, sometimes we're not even like, massaging our own family members, right? They're just going to the, the local um, spot to get massages instead of us connecting and massaging them. Anyway, so, um, and we're not playing our own music. Like I remember in my dad's day, I remember they had a party and on they actually made up little programs for the party and so-and-so was gonna be playing their accordion and so-and-so was gonna be singing a song or a duet. And instead of making our own music nowadays, we are basically turning on the radio, turning on iTunes, you know, wherever it is that you listen to music and we are not doing the creative part. We are listening and that's super really nice too, but we're not doing that creative, that super fulfilling part. And so um, I'm just going to tell you that, and tell me that, that using our creativity makes us happy. We don't have to be a concert violinist to be able to play the violin and get a deep joy from that and give a deep joy to our family and maybe even friends, right? There's something super cool about live music. Anyway, um, and it's, there's something super cool about things that you do yourself. It just means so much more. Um, when it comes to gifts, when someone's made a gift for me, oh my, I just remember it forever. Not saying that the store-bought gifts might not be, you know, more perfect or more whatever, professional, 
but the things that I get handmade are just touch my heart. So I'm just gonna throw that one out too as you're thinking about gifts and presents to give. Like maybe, maybe take some time to do it yourself. It might mean more. It might keep it longer. Anyway, okay, so that's where, that's a little bit of a talking about our creativity for the week, right? Reigniting our creativity. The affirmation for today is I am open to quiet time to support my creativity. Okay, as I'm talking to you, it's now nine o'clock. I usually get up in the four o'clock hour and I have for years. Get up, start my day. I have to say that, so as a mother of nine children, although four of them are only at home nowadays, um, when I get up early and start my day, I start my day with this incredible peace, this incredible quiet. Like I can't even, this profound peace and quiet. And this profound time that as a mom of nine children or four at home, right? Um, homeschooling, right, too, so your days can get busy and full. But I have that time, those hours to do exactly what I want. So um, wherever you are in life, no matter how big or small your circle of people who are depending on you and pulling on your little skirt and saying, Mom, I'm hungry, can you get me a sandwich, right? Um, carve some time out for you. Um, if you have a mom with young children, you're probably not getting up at four o'clock. Well, you probably already get, might be getting up at four o'clock for four o'clock feedings, but you're probably really wanting to go straight back to bed because you get waking up so many times during the night and you want to just go back to bed, right? Um, so wherever you are in your journey, I'm just going to encourage us all to carve out that quiet time, carve out the quiet time for us so that we can have the time to just shut off all the noise, shut off the internet, shut off the family members, and um, connect with what we really feel like our missions are in life. Okay, so that's my affirmation for today that I am opening, I am open to quiet time to support my creativity. Definitely give yourself quiet time, especially through the holidays. Um, if you don't, if you aren't super good at um, creating your own quiet time, I guarantee it will probably be filled with something else because someone's going to want you to do something. So set your, set your, um, schedule the time for you and hold the boundary, hold the boundary on what you need to do for you. Okay. So, um, that said, I'm going into the music that we're doing this week. And as you, if you've been following us, you know that, um, for our creativity, we had kind of two songs that were kind of resonating with us. One is a whole new world, like creating a whole new world. You get to create the world that you want to live in. You get to make things better. You get to, like if you're political and you care about the laws, you get to go out and lobby and, and be involved politically. If you're whatever, if you're a homemaker and you just um, love decorating your house, you get to create your environment. You get to decide what comes in or comes out of your house. You guys are the lions or the lionesses at your door deciding, yep, I want that in my house. Nope, I don't want that in my house. It's not coming in. Okay, so we all have that right to do. And um, oh, coming, going back to the quiet, just thinking about some of my thoughts. So we all have that right to do. Um, so four minutes. Okay. So we're going to cut this short um, really quick. Moving on to patchouli. Um, think about songs that you that you connect with to um, being creative. Um, so patchouli. Patchouli is the essential oil that we are talking about today. And um, we are diffusing two drops of patchouli, which is the oil of physicality. Two drops of sandalwood, which is the oil of sacred, sacred. Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't want to get it wrong sacred, the oil of sacred devotion, and two drops of clary sage, which is the oil of clarity and vision. Um, this is These are perfect oils to be diffusing at this time. Um, patchouli. I'm going to tell you today about what patchouli does for us emotionally. I'm going to tell you on Friday what patchouli does for us physically, um, but patchouli emotionally, it can help with um, when we're feeling not good about our bodies, it can help us connect and love 
on our own bodies, be our body's best friends. God gave us our bodies. I think he gave them to us because he wants us to be our body's best friend. So drinking the water, eating the good food, not not harping on us when our bodies don't look like everyone else thinks that, not everyone else, but society, the bulk of society might think that they should look. Anyway, um, there is patchouli. Um, I wanted to talk to you about how it's used in so many different perfumes and that if you are overworked, you can definitely put on patchouli and it will help you. Um, it will help you get your energy back. Um, also, if you kind of are addicted to laziness and you're trying to overcome it, um, patchouli can help with that. Like if you have people in your family that are like, ugh, I don't even want to do anything. If you're at that point where you're like, eh, yeah, I don't even want to do anything, patchouli can help with that too. Um, it's just it's diffused from the leaf of the plant. You can re you'll recognize patchouli because it was a super popular oil in like the '60s and '70s with the hippie kind of generation. Um, some people like to use it as a deodorant. Um, really quick, um, it can help with if you have. Um, the negative emotions it can help with is if you're feeling body shame or judgment, if you're feeling disconnected from your body, if you're feeling ungrounded, or if you have body te tension. Now, really quick, um, I wanted to say that people who just don't like their bodies and they check out by doing drugs, doing alcohol, whatever, patchouli can help with that, okay? So if you're one of those people or you know some people who just like to check out because they're not like what, what's happening in their um, circumstances and their surroundings. Patchouli can help with that. It can also help you feel more grounded, more confident. Some people check out because they're just not confident in, in their own abilities to do things. Um, it can help with moderation. Again, not reaching for the drugs, the alcohol to solve the problems. It can help with body connection acceptance, feeling balanced, stable, and physically expressive. So patchouli, some people say it's an aphrodisiac when guys put it on. I'm just saying that one. Okay, so I need to go now because my son's saying that I need to go. But um, patchouli is the oil that we're talking about today. We're diffusing two drops of patchouli, the oil of, of physicality, two drops of sandalwood, the oil of sacred devotion, and two drops of clary sage, the oil of clarity and vision. Our affirmation tip for today is I am open to quiet time as this has been quite an energetic video, but give yourself some quiet time to support your own creativity. And our affirmation for the week is I am reigniting my creativity. Okay. This is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, living the wholesome life. And we know that you can make it a great day. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Love ya. Bye-bye.